In this video, we're going to graph the linear equation y equals 2x plus 3. So we have our linear equation y equals 2x plus b. We want to draw the graph. We'll do it two ways. First, we'll put points in for x, find out y, and draw the graph. And then we'll check it with the slope-intercept formula, y equals mx plus b. So I start, I want to put a value in for x right here that'll show up on my graph. So usually if I choose 0, that shows up on the space I have with my graph. So I'll put 0 in for x. So I have 2 times 0 plus 3. And 2 times 0 is 0 plus 3. That gives me 3. So my first point is 0 comma 3. And I can put this right here on the graph. So x is 0 right here. And then we go up 1, 2, 3. That's our first point. So let's choose some other numbers that should show up on the graph. How about just 1 and minus 1? So I'm going to put minus 1 and 1 here for x. That gives me this. So now I have the 0, 3 right here. I have 1, 5. So I go over 1 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I have two points. I could graph with two points. I'd like to get a third point just to make sure that I've done these correctly. So I have negative 1 and 1. So negative 1x, that's right here. And then I go up 1 right here. And it's nice because they line up. So I know that I've gotten those correct. And now I'm just going to draw a line through the points. And let's put arrows here on the end of the line to show that if we keep putting values in for x and we plot them, they'll be along this line here going off into infinity. So we have our graph. We can check this using the slope-intercept formula. And I actually like to use this way first. And once you get used to it, it's really quick. So here's our slope-intercept formula. y equals mx plus b. b, that's the y-intercept. So 3 here for b, that's where we're going to cross this y-axis. And right here, that's 3. So that's our intercept, our y-intercept. And we can just find it right here from this equation pretty easily. For the slope, we're talking about rise over run. So 2, that's the rise. And if you think about the number 2, it really is just 2 over 1. It's still 2. So we could say rise over run. So I go from this point here up 1, 2. I rise up and I run over here. That's one point. Rise up 1, 2, and I go over. Here's our other point. And you can see they're right along this line here. So you can use this formula either to check your work or use this in the first place to draw your graph and then put some points in to check your work. Either way, this is the graph for y equals 2x plus 3. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.